So your stomach can shrink or expand. If, for example, if you have a big Christmas dinner, your stomach can stretch out. And if you continue to eat every night, a Christmas dinner, your stomach would stay big. And so your hunger cues, usually you want to eat more because your stomach is big. So people ask, well, how do I shrink my stomach? You know, and you always hear one say who's educating, smaller, more frequent meals are healthier because that small meal isn't going to expand your stomach and you'll hopefully feel full faster. The mechanics of eating, you know, slowing down when you eat, putting your fork and spoon down every single bite because your brain needs 20 minutes to be told by your stomach that it's full. So if you eat a meal in five minutes, you can eat three plates full before your brain signals, I'm finished, you can stop eating now. The obese population, they don't have the cue, the little mechanism in their brain doesn't work that says they're full. So they can eat and eat and eat, whereas a more healthy individual has a perfectly in sync little key that turns that says, I'm full, don't eat anymore. And you know people, I'm sure, they can push away and have two thirds of their entree left on their plate and they say, I'm full, I can't eat anymore. But then you know other people that will eat the whole plate and ask for seconds. So your stomach is actually like a balloon. It expands and contracts. So the larger the meal you eat, it expands to hold it and then retracts and gets small again.